Well, welcome to you all, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather this morning to celebrate the life of Mary. Let us start with a word of prayer together. Our Father God above, we want to thank you for this opportunity to celebrate and remember the life of Mary and all that she has meant to each person here and so many others who weren't able to be here today. As we go through our service, I ask that you would be alongside each person as they come to terms with that sense of loss and grief. I simply pray that you would bring a sense of peace to hearts, that peace that only comes through knowing and loving you. So be with us as we go through our service, we pray, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So we are here to remember Mary, to celebrate her life. Inevitably, a moment like this has those elements of sadness as we come to terms with the loss of somebody who's been an important part of our lives. And sadness is right to feel on a day like today, but we hold it alongside a desire to celebrate who she was, what she has meant to so many people. And sadness and celebration don't always sit comfortably together, but that is what we try to do, to enable each one of you to come to terms with that sense of loss that you feel and to allow the comfort that comes from God to be with you as you remember her. It's right to acknowledge that sense of loss. Whenever someone passes away, they leave a gap in our lives. And it's right and good to recognise that and not try and pretend it's not real or doesn't matter. But we also want to pay our respects today as we say goodbye to her, remembering all that she's meant in the lives of each one of you. As part of our service too, we do want to affirm our trust in God above, who said to all those who believe in him, I will never leave you nor forsake you. As we go through our service, and I hope you all have uh, sight of the service order, you will need it for the songs we sing, but also so that you can see where we're going. And it's there for you to take away so that after this service, you're able to reflect back in moments of quietness by yourselves and all that is said today. As we go through, we'll hear a little bit about Mary's life, but I'm sure all of you could add in your own stories, your own reminiscences, and I would very much encourage you to do that, both immediately after the service and in the days and weeks ahead. That's how she's kept alive in our memories, by sharing those thoughts. But we're going to start with a couple of readings from the Bible. And it's so important on occasions like this to ground ourselves in Scripture, to remind ourselves of what God has said to us. And so I'm going to read two passages, one from Ecclesiastes and then just a couple of verses from John's Gospel. So these are from Ecclesiastes chapter 3. There is a time for everything and a season for every activity under the heavens. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. Time to mourn and time to dance. Time to scatter stones and a time to gather them. A time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing. A time to search and a time to give up. A time to keep and a time to throw away. A time to tear and a time to mend. A time to be silent and a time to speak. A time to love and a time to hate. A time for war and a time for peace. What do workers gain from their toil? I've seen the burden that God has laid on the human race. He has made everything beautiful in its time. He has also set eternity in the human heart. Yet no one can fathom what God has done from beginning to end. I know that there is nothing better for people than to be happy and to do good while they live that each of them may eat and drink and find satisfaction in their toil. This is the gift of God. 
I know that everything God does will endure forever. Nothing can be added to it and nothing taken from it. God does it so that people will fear him. Whatever is, has already been. And what will be, has been before. And God will call the past to account. In John chapter 11, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. The one who believes in me will live even though they die. And whoever lives by believing in me will never die. Those words of scripture are an eternal truth for us. And we're going to have our service of songs now. And this is an opportunity to sing out those words of truth as well. These are going to be played on the organ. All the words are in the service order. So let us stand together and raise our voices as we sing to God, starting with when we walk with the Lord. When we walk with the Lord in the light.
please do take your seats. And Jedi is going to come forward and read this poem to us now. Thank you. Oh, for a closer walk with God, a calm and heavenly frame, a light to shine upon the road that leads my grandma to the, ma- to the Lamb. So shall her walk be close with God, calm and serene her frame, so pure of a light shall mark the road that leads my grandma to the Lamb. Thank you, Jedi. And Matthew now, Apostle Matthew, is going to come forward and lead us in a time of prayer. I'm not sure where he is. Ah, oh, he's coming. Praise God. Um, I know it's a very beautiful and wonderful day. I give glory to Almighty God for what He has done. There's nobody that walks that doesn't have rest. Our mommy have came and did what she's supposed to do. When it was completed, she went home. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, Father, Lord God, Holy Spirit, my Lord, my God, you are God Almighty. You are God in, that knows the end from the beginning. You are the God that knows whatever that is going to happen to each and every one of us. My Lord, my God, Father, Lord, Holy Spirit, I commit our mommy into your able hand today, O oh Lord. Have your way, Father. We know you have, she has departed for more than three weeks now. She's already in your bosom. Father, take absolute control of everyone in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Omnipresent, omnipotent God, in this very part, O oh Lord, I ask for your unity today. Father, unity within the family, within the siblings, within friends, and within the viewers. Father, Lord Jesus, my Lord, my God, this is the price that we all have to pay. Where are you going? Where are we going? My Lord Jesus, you know our heart. Father, lead us all through in the mighty name of Jesus. We are not crying for those that have gone. We are only crying for ourselves. Father, lead us all through, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I commit this occasion into your able hand, O Lord. Let your name be glorified in it today in the name of Jesus. As many as those that came, even those that are still coming, none of them will regret why they came here in the name of Jesus. You will not die before you get home, and you will not die, you will not, you will not regret why you came here in the name of Jesus. As you came to mourn, because the Bible said we should mourn with those that mourn and rejoice with those that are rejoicing. We are not mourning today, we are rejoicing. Father, we bless you all. Jesus, take us to control. For in Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. God bless you. We're going to have a time of opportunity to raise our voices and hearts to praise God now. We're going to start with Hosanna, praises rising, and then Rebecca Ozohon and Adewale are going to come and play for us. So let's stand together to sing praises rising. We long for you. 
Cause when we see you, we find strength to face the day. In your presence, all our fears are washed away. Washed away. Hosanna. Hosanna. You are the God who saves us. Worthy of all our praises. Hosanna. Just go. Praise the Lord, everyone. Um, we're just going to go into a time of praise and worship because we were told Mama is a person that loves singing. She loves rejoicing. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to rejoice. We're going to sing one worship song, then we'll go into a time of praise. Hallelujah. So let's just join our hearts. We're all children of God here. Hallelujah. In Christ alone, my hope is found. my strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fairest drought and storm, what height of love, what depths of peace, when fear My comforter, my all in God, hearing the love of Christ, I stand in Christ alone, who took on flesh, fullness of God in helpless space. Gift of love and righteousness, scorned by the ones he came to save, till on the cross, as Jesus died, the wrath of God is satisfied. For every sin on him was laid. Here in the death of Christ, I live. What height of love, what depths of peace, when still. My comforter, my all in gold, here in the power of Christ, I stand. Hallelujah. So we're going to praise him a little bit. Hallelujah. So let's all just join and praise. Hallelujah. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, 
that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our life. Arise, 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 arise. Take your place, be a throne on our praise. Arise, King of kings, holy God, as we sing. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Come on. Come on. This is a celebration of life. So we want everybody to be joyful. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord in the highest. Come on. All the glory. All the glory must be to the Lord. bless you. It's now time for us to hear a little bit about Mary and Prophetess Christy is going to come and speak to us.
Hello, everyone. God bless you all. Nice to see you all. I want to specially say thank you for coming. We appreciate you. We love you. In Jesus' name. First of all, um, I would like to thank the Almighty God. I want to specially thank my most senior sister, Miss Dickness, Mrs. Gladys Aka, for being a good senior sister indeed. She has um, been there, you know, supporting everything that we have, you know, come to identify as our siblings. I want to thank God for the reason why we are here. People of God, the acquaintance, relatives, friends, brothers and sisters, well wishers, everyone here. I want to say thank you. And most wonderful, I want to thank God Almighty, the I am that I am, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, who has given us the grace to be here. And I want to thank God for my mother, Mary, Mama Mary, we call her Mama, Mama London, for the way she raised us to know Jesus, because without Jesus, we are nowhere. Mama Mary is a person, you know, that we all loved and cherished. The amount of people that she has touched is uncountable. A very loving woman who um, doesn't really see her biological children, but sees everyone in the world as very important. My sweet mother always taught us to love other people, to cherish and to give, and to show mercy and compassion. and to value the needs of people. That led us to set up a foundation for the less privileged, the orphans, the homeless, the widows, those who suffer from mental illness. And she was so happy when we did that in December. When we took that home in December, she was so, so grateful, as if she told me I am fulfilled. During uh, the time, we, know, we all know, as she was born in the 1940s, women were not given the privilege back in Africa to do whatever they want to do, but they were put aside, not to go to school. But she broke that barrier by going all the way to study and make things for herself. And she was um, community development officer. And she loved people, loved women, loved men, children. And she impacted a lot of people in her community. And even when she relocated to, the, to England, she you know, always was telling me, we need to reach out to people. Whenever she's in the house, you see my mother run out of the door. I say, Mom, why are you running out? No, I saw somebody that needs Jesus. I want to speak to her, or I want to speak to him. And then she bring out a tract and give her, say, Mom, don't allow the people to sue me because you just... Uh, stopping them or infringing into their own privacy. You say, no, the Holy Spirit is here. I said, yes. Mom was very enthusiastic about life. She understood what life is all about. Life is not about us. Life is about everybody. Jesus Christ came, he died. He shed his blood on the cross of Calvary because of you and me. And that is the reason why we were created. We were created to love each other, to be there for one another. 
a system where we think about ourselves alone. But when we die, what are we going to say? What legacy are we leaving? The reason why I can stand here today to talk is because my mom raised me to be there for others. Even like it still happens now that I have to take care of every other thing before me. But the grace of God and the power of the Holy Spirit will speed up. I didn't have a dress to wear, but I have to take care of other things. At the last minute, the dress came. And I think, without doubt, I still look beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. So my mom um, taught us that, to always cherish people. Because the reason on this earth is about people. My mom, Mary, was called the melodious voice of Ora, the diocese, because she was a choir leader. That's why we had to do hymns. There is no hymn that you will bring that my mom doesn't know, and she sings. So that's why I just we thought as a family to make it like a um, songs, service of song in sort of. Life, we will say, wasn't easy for her. But she never allowed life to stop her. When life pushes you, you push life back. That's one of my quotes. That nothing in this world is so amazing than for you to have the joy in your spirit. I think my mom, because she revealed herself to many of us, and she told us, re, re, that she's not dead. She's alive. I saw her being taken by Jesus with a hand. And I think some of this story is on YouTube already. I don't need to flood it again. So mommy told my senior sister that she's alive. She's not dead. So that's why I can smile. Because Jesus Christ is the resurrection and life. We that are here, alive, one day we will go. It's a thing that we owe, but we pray that we are old and fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. My mom, Mary, not the other day, I want to say to you, what a great mother you are, a quintet, loving, beautiful, glorious. You were here with your maker. You imparted life. You did all. There was nothing that you did not do. You imparted your children to love God. I love you, mommy. And on behalf of my brothers, my brother and my sisters, I want to say we love you dearly. We so much love you. Stay where you are and rest. Because after labor, it is time to rest. I have so many things that I've written here, but because of time, time constraint, time will not permit me. I want to say that I have a passion to reach the world. And the message is, when the trumpet sounds, or maybe I pray that every one of us here we will not die prematurely in the name of Jesus. Amen. I prophesy that whatever it is that you are looking onto in your life that has not yet realized as of today, that by the reason of you entering into this next level, glorious level, that you will be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mommy slept where? She called all her children, advised us, spoke to us. I'm sure um, Chris Steve will also speak about her. So mommy advised us, told us, and she already prophesied what we are hearing about Russia and Ukraine. She said, my daughter, what is coming to come, happen? You know, the war. I said, what? She said, it's okay. So the love of God, we all have to open our eyes. Let's be serious with our lives and Christianity. Because Jesus Christ is coming very soon. It won't be long. And I will tell you lie. 
he is on his way. And I want to say, Mommy, we salute you for all that you did for your children and for the world. And she gave an advice to the world that everyone should open their eyes, shine your eyes, and do things you know, in an appropriate manner because the time is very short. God bless you all. God bless you, brother. This next short hymn, we're going to just stay seated and sing this together, and it just seems so appropriate, near to the heart of God. Let's sing this quietly together. There are several other people now who are going to come and pay tribute to Mary. So can I invite all of those who have you been asked to speak to come forward? I think there's Austin, Blessing, Sonny, Dixon, Joel and Dave. If you'd like to come and share, that would be wonderful. <clears throat> Thank you, everyone. I would like to, um, first of all, just say thank you to all, all the people here um, for honoring my mom. And I've been um, seeing a lot of faces here, like friends of mine who I haven't seen for years. And I just want to say thank you for making sure you're here. And may God continue to bless you. And also every one of you are the faces I don't know, but I just want to also say thank you and God bless you too. I'm here to give a tribute to my mom, a wonderful woman who has always been there for me and my siblings making sure that we had a good life and the position we, we are today is all because of what she's, the foundation of what she's done. And uh, I would say massive um, thank you, Mum, for all you've done. It's a sad thing that you've left us, but I know um, you're happy up there in heaven. Um, I got a tribute from my mum starting. Uh, mum, you carried me as a child and held onto my hands. You loved me and treasured me every day and taught me how to stand. Of all the scary things in life that I could ever fear, nothing is so frightening as you not being here. But you taught me to be strong and you taught me how to stand even when you aren't there to hold onto my hands. I'm grateful, to, I'm grateful for what you've taught me and I'm grateful for your love. I know you, you're there watching over me from heaven up above. It's just a short tribute, and I needed to give time to all of my um, family members to us to contribute their own tribute. But once again, I say thank you for everything, and may God bless every one of you. Thank you. Um, good day, all. Uh, my name is Osaritin Blessing Ojo. Um, I want to say thank you all for coming. Thank you for gracing this occasion. Thank you so much. God bless you. I have a tribute for my mom. It's a bit lengthy, though, but I'll try to um, select my words. I said here, my name is Osaritin Blessing Ojo. It's my honor to tell you about my exceptional, uh, sorry, about the exceptional woman I was lucky to call mom. Maria Nord Lowry was born in the 1940s. She was born in a remote village called Aurora. She never lived herself with women, 
no sorry, she developed herself when women were not reckoned with. Because in the traditional African family culture, they believed that a woman was not to be trained. A belief that had our brilliant women down. Mary carried on to actualize herself in the midst of such belief. Mary was a very loving person who believes in everyone. She always makes you feel very special whenever you are around her. Mama UK, as we always called her, was a gracious gift to the family and the people around her. Her personal worth on earth were her patience, pure heartedness, love of peace, and the love she showed to others that nothing could take away from her. Mary was indeed the precious gift from God to the Ahano family and we, her children. I want to thank you, my lovely mother, for the great role you played as a mother in bringing us, your children, up. Oh, we have become what we are today because of this tender love you showed us. You taught us to be content in all things and to bound together by cords of love. You installed in us the fear of God, discipline, and above all, self-confidence. My mom, you were so selfless. You always put others first before yourself. You did everything for others. You always thought of others. You always do. My mom is so, so selfless. She's so loving, so caring. I remember, you know, we'll just be around discussing, and before you know it, she's already talking about her siblings, her niece and nephews. What a great mom you were, mom. What a great mom you were. I love you so much, mom and I miss you. But I'm so happy because you've gone to meet the Lord. You're joined together with him. And that's our joy, that's our confidence. With that, with that knowing, we'll be joyful, yeah? Yes, we are joyful, is it? Yeah, we are joyful because she's there with the Lord. That's the best place to be. And I want to advise, advise all of us, please, if you're not a Christian yet, it's a time for you to accept Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior so that when it happens, because we really don't know when it's going to happen, anytime it happens, we too will be with the Lord, rejoicing with him. Thank you all for coming. We are indeed very grateful. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Sunday Ujo. I'm married to the beautiful woman just left there. I'm a grand, I'm a son-in-law to, to mo, mo, uh, mommy. I met mom over 10 years ago, and the first time I saw her, she prayed for me t twice in 45 minutes. When I got married to her daughter, she's been holding us in prayers. Every time she's been with us with prayers. She took care of my, my, my boys, Samuel, Miche, and uh, JD, and they're saying thank you. I've never seen someone die the way mom died before. I was with her in the hospital, you know, and that brought me back to the Bible that says, dying for a Christian is gain. Truly, mom, God has gained, and we have learned. Mom left, uh, left but we'll straighten further, knowing that when we leave here, we'll go to meet the Lord. I'm so proud, I'm so blessed to know, to meet her, to meet the family. She, she, she took me like the son. She stayed with me in my house when I was in Nigeria. She took care of my children. Even at the hospital bed, she wasn't asking about my son. Where is Jaden? Who's going to take care of Jaden? Whenever I heard that, I just feel like crying. She's one of the best person that have supported me all my life. She's been good. She's been there. I want to appreciate everybody for taking that time to come here. You know, it's, I'm, really, I'm really excited. I don't know. It's, it's not for us to be sad or for us to cry. She's going to be with the Lord. The world is full of pain, but... Thank you for everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming. We really appreciate um, you taking the time to join us today and to celebrate the life of our dear grandmother. I just wrote in a, um, a short tribute to my grandmother. Thank you, grandmother. Thank you for your unfailing love, your kindness, and your care. You are truly one of a kind, and you will never be forgotten. Your loss has been felt so deeply by all of us and will continue to be felt so deeply. Even though you lived a full and accomplished life, it still does not make this process any easier for any of us to bear. 
But rather than us reflect on the pain of the loss, I would rather we use this day to celebrate the positivity that you radiated throughout your entire life. Your wisdom, your smile, your love for God, your thoughtful counsel, your protective spirit, your intelligence, your kindness towards your children, your patience, your graciousness, and the list can go on and we'll be here tomorrow. Thank you for everything, Grandma, and rest in perfect peace. Firstly, I just want to say thank you to everyone for coming today to the send-off and celebration of life for our mother and grandmother Mary. Grandma was a very loving person who cared about all her children and grandchildren and many others that were not related to her. I still remember the first time I met Grandma when I was a child. She warmly welcomed and embraced us as always. She was the only grandparent that I actually had any real ongoing relationship with, which truly showed her love for all. From time to time during her stay with us, she would sit down with me in the living room and talk to me about history, things that she has gone through and advice for me for the future. We would laugh and talk for hours. One thing I can say is that Grandma lived a very full and complete life, and it was a truly a blessing for her to reach her old age of over 70 years old. Even though this may be a very challenging time for us to go through, I want us to use this time to celebrate her life rather than a time of mourning. She may be gone, but she will most definitely never be forgotten. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everybody, for coming today. I'd like to express my gratitude to everyone who knew my, my grandmother Mary or may just be blessed and uh, feel the love to come and spend this time with us to send her off. My dear grandma, <clears throat> she's an icon and a legend. She may have been petite in her stature, but she is mighty in her spirit. She exuded boundless love and she embraced people. She was a true giver an irreplaceable gift to the world. She was selfless. She was a mother, a great mother, a prayer warrior, an intercessor, an esteemed elder, an evangelist, a woman of faith, and an accomplished community service um, officer. She touched many lives and blessed many people with her love and peaceful aura. She was a family-oriented person and the anchor of our family. She loved children, and children also loved her. She was diligent, fervent, joyful, wise, patient, strong, loving, kind, charitable, humble. She was loving. She was filled with the Spirit of God. If there's something that everyone knows about her, it's that she was always praising God. She was always grateful and testified of the goodness and great greatness of her God. I remember meeting her in my early teens, and from that moment, I knew how special my grandmother was. She took everyone's concern as her own. She taught me the importance of humility and doing what is right. She often said to me, just because you are humble, it doesn't mean you are a fool. And she also taught me not to let the sun go down on my anger, to trust in God, live peacefully, and do good unto others. She was a living example of the believer, full of love, hope, and positivity. I would always look forward to meeting her, hearing her life stories. We would talk for hours, and she educated me on her history and her humble beginnings. Her distinct laugh would always make me laugh. She, her experiences, as she reminisced, it made me realize how much she painted her pictures as she was speaking to me, and how much she sacrificed for her children and others. I love you, Grandma, and I thank God for your life. I'll continue to celebrate you, and her legacy will surely live on, and it speaks of her greatness through her family, through her children, and for many generations to come. Thank you all.
you'll see that there are several other tributes printed in your service sheet, which you can read at your leisure, because time is moving on with us. But I just want to read one more thing to you, which is a letter that Christy received from our MP, just which says, I am extremely sorry to learn that your mother Mary passed away. Please accept my condolence on your loss. I know this must be a difficult time for you and your family. And while I'm not able to attend the funeral, my thoughts are with you. And please know that I was delighted to have been able to lend your mother my support. I know how important it was for you all to be together, particularly after your mother suffered the loss of her husband. I'm very pleased to have been able to offer you both the support that you needed. And as always, I am here to help in the future. I know there are many others who would like to stand up and speak, but I am afraid I'm going to have to ask you to save that for the wake where there will be plenty of time. What we are going to do now is just have a time to sit quietly, watch some photos and listen to some music, and I hope memories will be jogged for each and every one of you as you look at these.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. As we've been through our service, we've heard about Mary's life, we've heard about her love for the Lord, and it's right and good for us to come to the end of our time here by just reminding us all that God loves you. Whether you know him or not, he loves you. Whether you acknowledge him or not, he loves you. And it's right and good for us to recognise that as we come to the end of our time. As we gather at the graveside shortly, we will have more time to speak of Mary and to think about what she has meant to us. But we're coming to the end of our time and I want to use this prayer that's in our service order as a way of ending our time. It is a simple reminder that each of us can ask God to be with us, to be alongside us, to know him as Lord. So let me say this prayer, and if you would like to say it with me, you are welcome to. Father God, I repent of my sins. Please forgive me. I believe that Jesus Christ shed his blood for me and was raised from the dead, and I confess that Jesus is Lord. I accept you into my heart. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. That final hymn that we were going to sing, Sleep on, beloved, sleep and take thy rest. I'd like to just read these words to you. Sleep on, beloved, sleep and take thy rest. Lay down thy head upon thy Saviour's breast. We love thee well, but Jesus loves thee best. Good night, good night, good night. Lord God, as we come to the end of our time in this chapel and we prepare ourselves for our final journey to lay Mary to rest, we ask for your strength to be upon us, for your blessing to be known in our lives. And most of all, we ask for your son Jesus to be alongside us. Amen. There's going to be one final hymn playing as the funeral directors come in and take Mary out to place her back on the hearse for our final journey to the graveside. This is God be with you till we meet again. If you could clear away from the door, please, that would be very helpful. Oh,